Happening right now, an hours long standoff continuing in Mejia near the intersection of Ross Avenue and Glendale Street. It all started earlier this morning and police are still trying to enter the home in question. This comes after the McClendon County Sheriff's Office was asked to help U.S. Marshals serve a federal search warrant. Six News reporter Sydney Deshawn has been on that scene all day and shares us the update now live from the neighborhood. Sydney. Yeah, Chris and Lindsay, we're learning more information about this standoff from neighbors. Witnesses say police have now broken into the residence by breaking into some windows, and they also tell us that they saw the suspect come out and throw what appeared to be a phone at police. Other than that, police have been trying to communicate with a bullhorn. Throughout the afternoon and evening, I heard multiple shots and flashbangs go off, and there have been some reports of tear gas as well. Residents tell us a man barricaded himself inside a home earlier this morning. U.S. Marshals, Limestone County Sheriff, McLennan County Sheriff, and Texas DPS have all been on scene, and many intersections are still blocked off. One man lives right across the scene and has been watching everything unfold from his front door. I pray they're doing tear gas. They shouldn't uh, tear gas into the the garage is in the back and into the RV. And then like 20 minutes ago, they, I guess it was some type of bomb. They threw two of them into the, inside the RV and I seen the smoke come up and all that. And it's a small town that we don't really get this. Like you said, we don't really get this type of stuff. So they just want to see and like make sure everything's okay. Now we have been working with law enforcement to learn more information, but at this time it is very limited. We know the U.S. Marshals are leading this investigation. We'll be sure to keep you updated if we learn any more information and if we have developments. But for now, live in Mejia, I'm Sydney Deshawn for 6 News. Okay, thank you, Sydney. We hope for a safe conclusion to this one.